Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing kind of like a combination of things in this video. Um, first of all, it's kind of like a night routine because it's or a nighttime vlog. It's 8.36. I'm actually here at my school watching the sunset because I wanted to take sunset pictures and every time I've gone to go take sunset pictures, there's not a sunset. And where you're supposed to have these really pretty sunsets because of all like the sand, I think, or dust, it was like, I don't know, but they were supposed to be like really red and vibrant and there were a few like that, but I didn't get to them. But today I realized that the sun was setting, it was changing colors. I was like, dude, we just need to go for it. I had this idea that basically while driving over here that I could kind of turn this into like a summer series of doing like things that pertain to my summer bucket list, which I'll link the video up here. Um, so in this video, I've got three items. I've got watching sunsets, jamming out in the car and then also like a self-care night spa night type thing that's the deal we're going with for this night routine um so yeah i'm gonna probably get out of my car and a bunch of cars i'm, I'm right by a main road um my windshield is extremely dirty excuse that um the sunset's really pretty though and i'm just i'm by a main road and so lots of cars are driving by but that's fine because we have no shame whatsoever i brought i brought a bucket hat because i love this bucket hat to death and i don't know if i'm gonna wear it or not but i figured i'd bring it i now have three different tripods i've got this one that like extends which is nice my smaller one from like if you guys watched my self timer video and then i've also got this one also in here though is my gorilla pod thing that's probably what i'm gonna use like on the front of my car is this one let's do it look at it it's so cute um, there's also a ton of construction equipment around here, so I don't know what's going on with that, but first things first is getting a thumbnail for a video because I need that. Alright, I discovered this cool feature on like my Apple Watch and there's like this little like icon that you can click on. It's like a little camera, I'll put it up here, and it lets you like take like trigger self-timer photos like from your watch and you can like see on the screen. It's so cool. But that way you can take front-facing pictures. use these as a thumbnail on here i don't necessarily love it but like it works i'm gonna try and take self-timer pictures now for me wait maybe i can set you guys up here it kind of works the clouds are still kind of killing it for me i think i can get a better shot from the sidewalk so i'm gonna try and move that way that means I need my other tripod though. The sky is getting darker, so I'm hoping that lets for like more like silhouette shots. Hey guys, um, so we are back in the car. Sunset looks super good. As you can see, kind of through my dirty window. But I think it's time to head home. Generally, I would jam out with you guys here. But I think I'm gonna jam out in my driveway because it feels a little bit less awkward. why this like song low-key slaps um but angels and demons is actually like good i swear i thought i saw something that's scary but we're gonna move on oh it's my reflection <laughs> Oh, my battery's gonna die. Um, my battery's gonna die, so I guess we're gonna have to cut this short. We might resume later. 
I got lost on TikTok for like an hour. So now it's like 10.40 and I figured it was time to show you guys me getting ready for bed. Because it's a long process because we have to shower tonight and wash our hair. I guess I'll share my hair care routine with you guys. Lovely. Actually, I need my phone. Every time I walk into the bathroom to like take my shower, especially if I'm like washing my hair, there's always something that I forgot. I have to go back out and get it and it's annoying because I always lock my bathroom door because I'm just paranoid like that. Anyways, welcome to my bathroom guys. Let's just get down to business. I'm definitely gonna hate this angle when I'm editing later, but we're just gonna have to live with it. Normally I would use like Neutrogena makeup wipes, but I've been watching a lot of skincare by Hiram. Um, if you know him, I think he's great and he is the reason I am now using micellar water instead of makeup remover wipes. But honestly, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but like when you would try to remove mascara with makeup wipes, you would like get it in your eye, like the makeup remover solution stuff, and it burns. So I'm trying to avoid that. I don't even know if this is a good one, the Garnier one. I just started using it last night because it came in the mail. Um, somebody tell me if this is a good one or not though, like if it's okay for my skin. But I will say it removes makeup pretty well. I haven't like tried to do like full face of makeup. I don't know, do like people use this to remove like all their makeup? There we go, makeup free now. And I don't do like my like other skincare until after my shower. Do you guys want to see what products I use in the shower? I don't, I don't know how this works. So for shampoo, I use this Paul Mitchell Shampoo One, like original stuff. This is a great angle. I use the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner, which I don't know if that's good for you or not. And then I use the Ulta Beauty um, Coconut Moisturizing Body Wash because it leaves my skin feeling so soft. And then for shaving, I use the Skin to Mint, um, also coconut scented um, body conditioner and shaving cream in one. I don't get as many like razor bumps burns when I use it, so highly recommend. Anyways, I'm gonna shower, so I'm gonna get to you guys after that. Yeah. Sup guys, shower is done. I guess I'm gonna have to like blow dry my hair and do the rest of my skincare because right now it's all up here. Um, in my little Turby Twist towel, highly recommend. Makes the whole hair getting into big towel on top of head thing easier because it's like a smaller towel. So once again, editing me is going to hate this angle because I have no good way of putting my camera in my bathroom, like propped up without a ring light. And right now my ring light is in use somewhere else. It's set up for taking photos for an Etsy shop because I am actually selling masks with my mom. She makes them, I sell them, that kind of thing. Um, go check out the Instagram and the Etsy shop though. Um, anyways, now that I've rambled, rambled? Now that I've rambled about that, it's time to like get this job done. Honestly, I don't leave my hair in the little towel thing for very long. So before I dry my hair, I put in this Cara Therapy Color Protect Perfect Blowout Spray stuff. I got it from my hairdresser. You shake this stuff up before you put it in there and then I just kind of like spray all over. I think it's really great. It makes my hair feel super soft. Okay, if you guys had this like detangler when you were little, like the apple one, like that's what it smells like. Water in. And I just kind of go for it. mostly dry had to switch out the rope for a mildly wrinkled t-shirt because it was getting way too hot i don't even know if you can tell but like my face is red once we've you know dried our hair we're going to put it back into a ponytail for the past like week or so i've been using the hydrating um facial cleanser from cerave 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 we're gonna wash our face first make sure to get it everywhere I've been staying away from all products that have acid in its name because I have such sensitive skin, but this actually hasn't broken me out, which is nice for a change. The one thing that hasn't changed about my skincare routine is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. Somebody described this to me as a toner, so I'm saying it's a toner. I don't actually know if it's a toner, and yeah. 
that's that's our skincare. Of course, we brush our teeth, but that's right after I blow dry my hair. If I put it in a ponytail, it does like a weird bendy thing, even though I use scrunchies, but it's fine. You know, there's not really much left to this like night routine. We're kind of just chilling. Always remember to drink enough water. I love getting to talk to you guys. So if you ever want to like message me or talk to me, like feel free. I'm like most responsive on Instagram because I get all the alerts for that. But if you guys want to chat with me on here, if you want to chat with me and like my Instagram DMs, like please do. Anyways though, I guess that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video or like doing my little night routine with me. If you guys do want to see more videos from me, subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you all in next week's video. Peace out dudes.